Here we go. This is no condemning anyone, even though I want to. As a guy who has played and as a guy who's not an elite talent, I was never an elite talent. As a guy who was coached by some great coaches and as a guy who always wanted to know the why. I understand why things fail and why things work because I've always got it from the coach's point of view because I ask questions. So every coverage, every scheme has a strength and advantage. Rushing three is an advantage because you have a potential of covering 95% of the, of the zones. The only thing about rushing three is your front three better, better have discipline in that pass rush lanes. If not, then it's a problem because the quarterback can scramble. Watch this. This is why rushing three works. Great perimeter presence. Great pushing the pocket up front. What's going to happen is we're going to get pressure, move the quarterback up in the pocket, and we've got a guy right there to stop it. It's really that simple. From the pass rush aspect. Now, let me show you as much as I can from the backside aspect, which is a little different than what happened at the end of the game. Watch the depth of Trevin Wallace and DJ. The ball was snapped, let's say, at the 45. They are 10 yards deep. It's third and 17 right now. They're 10 yards deep. Watch this. They're 15 yards deep. They got a crossing route. If there's somebody short, there's going to be somebody behind them. Guess what happens? Quarterback is looking for the first down. Look at this. Deep linebackers under him. He is at the 35. That's like 20 yards down the field. Look where D-Jack is. There's nothing there for a first down. He had this open. I'll discuss more tonight. Watch my styles. 